All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's weekly Everyman crossword. Comes out on Sunday or Saturday night here in the US. Let's see what Everyman has for us this week. Employment a la Ubers are horse-drawn carriages. Ah, I've no idea what that is. Oh, um, ah, yes. Yeah, so you sometimes hear jobs like um, Uber and uh, DoorDash referred to as the gig economy. And I think a gig can be a horse-drawn carriage. Let's see if that is right. A uh, drop golf ball that's been lifted high. Well, golf is the phonetic, um, I don't know, my, my voice went funny when I said golf, uh, the phonetic alphabet word for G, and we have a G. So I'm wondering if it is a G followed by maybe a ball that's been lifted, as in reversed for a down clue, and therefore the meaning is going to be drop. I don't see it. Um, high, of course, I think, I think can be H, but I don't see that either. All right, jerk, English in French holiday home. All right, we've had this word before. I think I used to hear it uh, 40 years ago, a geet, a French holiday home. I think a lot of English people used to have a geet that they would go away to. Anyway, the jerk is a git and E for English. All right, where youngsters' habits may be <laughs> unpleasant. Um, I'm just, of course, I read habits and I think about nuns. No, I don't. I don't see that. Habits, I think, in general could be clothing or hoodies or something like that. All right, how about mostly unwelcome sound? Oh, every man is most unwelcome. Well... Every man referring to himself would be I or me. I think the O is just going to be a naked O. O-I or O-M-E. Mostly unwelcome. And then most unwelcome, I'm wondering if it could be an E-S-T word. But I can't think of most unwelcome beginning with N. Least brief amount of time, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. Least brief, oh my goodness, amount of time. That is, well, that meets the definition of a cryptic crossword clue. I am baffled by that. I'm thinking the double I am... Maybe that is going to be an I am that is in the answer. Least might be minimum. But um, then a brief amount of time could be a mo. Yeah, I think it might mean least. Yeah, and I'm not sure. Maybe it could be some kind of er or um type of word. No. All right, let's go back to the acrosses. House detective part employed. Ah, well, the part made me think it might be a hidden clue, and within house detective, you have used. All right. Sufferer, sedated, calm. Um, ten letters. We don't have ten letters, so it's not going to be an anagram, maybe a charade. 
Um, a sufferer could be a patient. Um, yeah, I don't get it. A sucker rejected some bubbly. Uh, I think, well, something backwards. Um, yeah, maybe it's A and then a word for sucker. Uh, could be that a lollipop or um, a mark of some kind. Soda comes to mind in that it's bubbly drink, but yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, what's or could it be? Um, Champagne of some kind, crew. No. Oh, well, let's write these down here. Horse that provides sustenance in the main. Well, whenever I read the word main, I think they may be uh, getting at the sea. The ocean can be uh, referred to the main. So, um, ooh, could it be a famous? <laughs> horse that is some kind of seafood or a cook on board a ship a famous horse like secretariat shergar uh, no uh yeah i don't see that okay more like preliminary version read aloud and increasingly windy question mark well a preliminary version would be a draft we have the d and increasingly windy i'm thinking draftier so it's a playful definition Something more like a draft would be draftier, and that's a homophone read aloud to give the A-U-G-H-T version. All right. Ooh, so this does end in... does end in A, so maybe it is soda. What would that horse... like a seahorse... Um, Provides sustenance in the main. No, don't get it. All right. Grim noon dog barking. You can't say this now. All right. 11 letters and grim noon dog have 11 letters. Barking is barking mad or an anagram of them. And so it's something... That's probably not acceptable to say now. I presume it's going to be an ing word at the end. That would make sense. Uh, let me put in the ing and then we'll try the anagram helper. Grim noon dog. Drug mooning. You can't say this now. Of course, it may not be something that's um, out of bounds to say. It might just be some like something archaic. Oh, good morning. Why is this? You can't say this now. Um, I don't quite get the definition part. Is every man assuming, you know, I am doing it afternoon, only just. Um, because you can definitely say good morning to people. Uh, yeah, that one I've, escapes me. What would that do to our horse? There is some famous horse I'm, I know is at the back of my mind. I'm just not thinking of. 
Uh, I'll go on and it'll pop in, hopefully. Uh, exciting under canvas by the sound of it. Well, I think it's probably one of the first puns we all learn is that tense can sound like tense, T-E-N-S-E. So if you're under canvas, you might be in tense. All right. Oh, I love this. I wonder what is the shortest ever cryptic crossword clue. This must be in the running. Two question mark. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's... Um, it's going to be one of those where the answer reads like wordplay. Um... You have something not from, no. All right, twin, having consumed gin, recalled puzzles. Sounds like we put the three-letter gin inside the four-letter twin and then reverse it. Um... But I don't see. I don't see it. I think it must be another word for one of those. Yeah, because I don't think those seven letters work. I may be wrong. I've been wrong before. All right. Harlequin inexhaustibly portraying some characters, that's the tonic. It sounds like that's the definition, a tonic. Oh, it could be a tonic in music, a tonic as in a medicine, a tonic as in something you put in your hair, you're something you drink, gin and tonic. But the inexhaustibly confuses me. Exhausted would mean emptied out, but here it's inexhaustibly. Oh, um, you no, know, so it's a hidden clue within Harlequin inexhaustibly. Now I get it. Some of those characters uh, spell out quinine, so it, well, I think quinine did, was a medicine. But um, I do recall it was like one of those little mixer bottles that you would mix in with your spirits. Um, all right, comic interlude, but does it describe a darkness? Oh. Well, light comedy comes to mind. But that would be the opposite of a darkness. Light. Oh, maybe it's a, yeah, maybe it's light something else that suggests the light goes out. Comic interlude. Ah, oh, light diversion, light something let me put in a uh, light and stop saying it all right one twenty eighth of an ounce good butter well i think i'm going to have to look up what one twenty eighth of an ounce is called yes yeah, so i'm thinking good will be g and that's either going to go after a three letter word for that amount and it's going to mean butter, which could be something that butts like a goat. R, it's G in front of a three letter butter gives that small amount. I'm trying to think of a small weight. Oh, is it a gram? Yes, of course it is a gram. And uh, a ram is the butter. There we go. One drawing things out using this. Ex 
extender or, uh, oh, it could be somebody actually drawing. No, uh, cushions in apartments. Yeah, I don't get that. I presume a double definition. Naughty child is on the loo, but only half somewhere in Slovakia. Uh, well, I'm thinking of a naughty child as a brat, and I thought of Bratislava. Uh, so brat, is, 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 and then on the loo is lavatory, but only half of it, and Bratislava must be in Slovakia. All right, I'm going to do, excuse me, the downs backwards. Ah, here is the one we look forward to every week from every man. Uh, primarily, so the first letters of oceanic, ravenous creature. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes me laugh that uh, every man couldn't think of a better word for the A than arg. Anyway, that's an orca. We sometimes see it clued as a killer, but there we go, I like that one. Okay, volcano, where the stakes raised. Well, surely the volcano is Etna, and that is the ante, the stake you put in a card game backwards. A queen in time to introduce alien five or V. Ooh. Is it the name of a queen? Alien is often E-T. I'm wondering if the definition could be the letter V, which, of course, is victory, can mean versus. What else can V mean? The queen might simply be the Q. In time. Yeah, I see. I would have thought the queen, if it was Q, would be inside a word for time. No, I don't get that. Uh, Shepherd, who played up front for England. Uh, I think we had Alan Shearer not too long ago. So I'm not sure a shepherd actually does the shearing. Maybe that's why the question mark is there. And I'm not too sure where Alan Shearer played on the football field, but I presume he was a forward. All right, so now we're one drawing things out. Oh, I wonder, yes, if you protract things, you draw them out. And a protractor is, I remember in our pencil case, going to school, we had all of those little uh, protractors, etc. Never used them, or maybe used them once, but we loved having them in our pencil case. Okay, so there's two T's. Ah, yeah, maybe the E.T. goes inside to introduce Alien. So Queen in time. Oh, of course, five people could be a quintet. Yeah, so... Yeah, okay, so Queen must be Q.U. in time. Introduce is just a linking word, uh, E-T, and then I think the V. Is that a fair definition for a quintet? Anyway, oh, so let's see if that is light. Oh, light relief. And I suppose relief from the light might be darkness. Oh, yeah, I should have thought of light relief in a film. Um... All right, learning fast to arrange relatives' accommodations. Oh, I think it might be an anagram of learning fast. Yeah, learning fast 
and then you arrange that. Ah, uh, yeah, so I think it's uh, Granny Flats with an IE spelling. I think with a Y would be more common, would be my guess, but I could be completely wrong. All right, yeah, I'm doing these in a funny order today. Grand I Have Beer and Dog Returning to Offer Support. Uh, well, we have an L something G, so surely to offer support is give a leg up. Grand is G, I have is I-V-E, beer is ale, and the dog is a pug that is returning. There we go. That was fairly straightforward. All right, spooners. Okay, we have a spoonerism. I haven't had one of these in the crossword for a few weeks, I think. Don't remember the last time. Anyway, to provide support for violinists, etc. Uh, violinists, etc. I think is going to be string. Ah, yeah, string band, I suppose. And if he's providing support, I think that's bring a stand. So I'm not sure I've heard string band. Well, I suppose you have a brass band. Why wouldn't you have a string band? Oh, yeah, of course, there's the incredible string band. Yeah, all right. I'm good with that. Ah, uh, now the cushions, of course, are pads in apartments. And our twin now, having consumed gin... Ah, well, puzzles must be enigmas wrapped in riddles. Um, so the gin is there backwards. So is the uh, twin same? Yeah, I don't quite... It's either... Um, Emas, I don't know what Emas is, are it's same backwards. Yeah, but puzzles must be enigmas. All right. So then, um, for youngsters' habits may be unpleasant, something mats. Yeah, I presume it's going to be plural. Otherwise, it could be mate, something mate. But I think... What is it going to be? Clinging? Charging? No, I don't see that. And here's our horse that provides sustenance in the main. Of course, not completely sure about the soda. Let me just look at that again. A sucker rejected some bubbly. I wonder if it could be a bat. Might be a sucker. And if that is rejected, taba, is that um, a type of champagne? Let me uh, pause and look that up. Well, I, I googled Taba Champagne, and I'm just getting the guitar tabs for Champagne Supernova. So I'm not too confident about that, but I did remember the uh, horse that had a film made about it was Sea Biscuit, which, of course, would be sustenance when you're on board a ship. Oh, Cava! Ah, yes. It's funny, I just seeing it blank there, it suddenly becomes much easier for the brain to see it. Uh, so vac, short for vacuum, is the uh, sucker. All right, just the top half left. Oh, here's our two. Oh, I bet it's something cut. It's some word 
Tio Tone Cut Tong Cut um Oh, or something cat? No, I think it's going to be a longer word that is cut. But I'm just not seeing what that would be. Okay, if that's a T, least. Oh, yeah, I still like minimum. No, just I really want that brief amount of time to be a mo, and then I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, um, well, minimum does end in um, of course, so <laughs> I think I even said that. Um but I didn't put it together with minimum. So least would be the definition. And a brief amount of time might be a min, give me a minute. Oh yeah, and brief indicating we're shortening the word, abbreviating it. And then I'm is I am, and then I'm not sure is um. Okay, I'm happy with it now. Um, so what is this, uh, main, M-A-N-E, mine, mend, mind, monk, mono, wow, oh, I'm just not seeing what that could be. Am I happy with all the other letters? I think so. Yeah, I don't think I made one of my trademark typos. I'm going to pause and run through the alphabet and just try and think what vowel is going to go in there and then what letter after the N. All right. I really got it by thinking about, well, what if it was some kind of cat? And, uh, Miraculously, I did come up with Manx, which of course is missing its tail. So two is a Tom without its tail. That is fiendish. Um, yeah, and Mike and I were discussing in the comments how some days you have it, some days the uh, puzzles are just a little too puzzling. And somehow the neurons uh, fired in the right order for me to get that one today. But fiendish but i do take my hat off to every man for that clue all right um for youngsters habits yeah i think that must be an ng or rg oh changing the changing rooms maybe No, changing, is there such a thing as changing mats? I've never heard of that. Charging mats, I think those are the things you put your phone on, right? And it charges. But how would that be where youngsters' habits may be unpleasant? No. Okay, here's our drop. Golf ball that's been lifted high. A ball could be an orb. No. Oh, this could be noisome. Yes. So I think it is... Um, I think noisome is unpleasant, maybe mostly unwelcome, or... Yeah, 
yeah, so, oh, every man. I'm not exactly sure how we're getting this, other than maybe O plus me plus is. Plus no? Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that would work. Anyway, this would be our sufferer sedated calm. I presume that's going to be maybe I-E-N-T at the end? Uh, and I guess, suppose a word for calm. I think I'm going... See, so yeah, I don't think it's a word for sufferer. But if it is a charade of something for a sufferer and then something for sedated, that would be at the end. What would that be? I something ends something. And it's going to mean calm. Otherwise, it's sedated followed by calm and it means sufferer. Now, I'm going to look up synonyms for calm. Well, in the end, I had to go to wordplays.com, which I hate to do for the everyman crossword, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure I would have got this. Actually, the uh, definition is sufferer, but it's a very specific sufferer, one who is an outpatient. If you're sedated, ooh, you are out. And if you're calm, if you remain calm, you're being patient, I suppose. Very tricky. All right, what is this? Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about enigmas now. Yeah, um, but it's just that and one down left. Drop golf ball that's been lifted high. Yeah, don't see that. Um, I think I'm going to try changing mats. Vague memory of school. There might be things called changing mats. But, um, yeah, really not too sure of this one. Uh, and then my drop... Maybe some fun... Oh, a drop, of course, could be a drop of a liquid. Like a glob, maybe. Yes, I think it is. I think I only would have thought of the word globule, but I think a ball that if you, in tennis, have a lob, the ball goes up high and it comes after the G uh, for golf. Yeah, um, unfortunately, we don't have the check this button with the everyman crossword. So I have a, yeah, I've, I'm not very confident in changing mats. I am confident in glob, but um, yeah, I feel like three down is just a cryptic definition and maybe it's something British that I'm not aware of. That's my excuse anyway. Well, other than that, I did think it was a fun crossword, particularly uh, 16 across. Anyway, thank you as always for watching and have a great day.